So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the number one style that I recommend if you have moderate to severe trash alopecia. <laughs> If you have severe to moderate traction alopecia, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, how am I supposed to wear my hair while I'm growing my edges back? Because if I have to give up the styles, Amber, that you're saying cause them, what else is there to do? So the number one style that I recommend if you have moderate to severe traction alopecia is to lock it up. Locks are not a hairstyle, locks are a lifestyle, okay? So it's gonna require a major change in the way that you look and you think. The only way that you can even accept this recommendation as being something that you could possibly have, especially if locks have never been on your mind, right? Never thought about it, never looked into it, and I'm recommending that you go from a lace front that's been straight, so again, locks now being a completely different look for you. The first thing that you have to do to even grasp with this recommendation is to get rid of the desire for instant gratification. Because all of the hairstyles that cause you to have severe to moderate traction alopecia came from the fact that you noticed that your edges were thinning, but the instant gratification that you got from still wearing those styles made it okay. You were able to overlook it. Whereas when you lock, it's gonna require a commitment of not necessarily getting that instant gratification. This is where the mental transformation has to come in that I always talk about. That's the first part of growing your edges back if you have severe to moderate traction alopecia or if you have if it's gotten so bad that you know you're not even able to grow them back your follicles are completely damaged so instead of still continuing to make it even worse even if it's moderately severe you can still take control and not have to look at your future consisting of always having to buy hair you can still grow your own and the beautiful thing about locks is the areas where people tend to have the most stress from traction alopecia are this area this edge is right up in here right up in here this back area around where the ears are see where i'm touching and then often right here okay so if you start locks, they only have to be this long, okay? Right around your ears to cover the traction alopecia. If the traction alopecia caused your hairline to be pushed back in the forehead area, then you can also wear scars that can cover that part up. But the rest will be yours, okay? That nobody can take away. I also want to say that if you have moderate to severe traction alopecia and it's because of the locks because I've noticed that there are situations where scissors have started lock journeys with full edges and then due to the styles being tight, pulled up all the time, too tight retwists, things like that cause their edges to thin and may have caused their hair, their locks to just thin out in general. So if you've experienced that, change hairstylists Stop getting your locks styled and retwisted by people who are twisting too tightly. Allow your locks to just be retwisted and let them hang down, okay? That will omit that problem from getting worse. Locks are not a hairstyle. Locks are a lifestyle. I know some people look at it like a hairstyle because every time they get their locks done, they're styling them up, this and that, but it really is a lifestyle. You know, you'll start to see the connections that you have with your hair is different from when it's loose. Once the length starts to kick in, the confidence gets bigger, okay? So if you have severe, moderate traction alopecia, and you know, again, you're using the, the same styles that got you there to give you those temporary self-esteem boosts and you're just tired of depending on those things, you just wanna be able to wear your own hair, 
the longer you stick with the journey and the longer your locks get, the more confident you are going to become, the more happy you're going to be with your choice. I know it's not easy for everyone, specifically when you're dealing with severe traction alopecia. I'm not talking about you got your hair braided one time and you noticed some, some thinning here and there and just by changing the styles after a month, your, your edges are back with no oil and stuff like that because most of the time that's all it requires is to change the style, not necessarily in oil. If you've experienced that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking to the sisters who have had traction alopecia for a significant amount of time, years, okay and have noticed it just as time is going on it's getting worse and worse and worse but it's okay because you have these hairstyles that instantly make you feel better instantly make you feel pretty they take away the fact that there's something going on there because you don't have to see it but it also comes with you now forever being dependent on something outside of yourself to feel good so if you don't want to be dependent like that definitely gets worse by you continuing to wear those styles so if you're tired of that you want to do something different don't want to keep buying hair then these are some tips that will really really help you be able to choose locks know that this is the best choice for you and stick to the journey all right i hope this helps and don't forget to like on your way out leave a comment if you found this helpful and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video peace